Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. As usual, I will guide you through this chart for the upcoming week and give you all the uh, trade ideas that I'm looking for. So while I roll the interim disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you over there. Welcome back guys. So as usual, we will start with the Dixie starting on the weekly to make a top down analysis on it. And as you see, we are still uh, trading around uh, this area where we have the 200 moving average that we've been looking at for a while, but now we closed below it yet once again. So um, we have two weeks closing below the 200 moving average now, uh, even though that uh, the last week was not the most bearish week, but still it was a close below that 200 moving average. On the daily last week, we talked about this uh, structure with uh, <coughs> lower lows and lower highs. And uh, we've been talking about this major lower how high and that uh, was uh, the signal for a possible test of uh, this level down here that we got tested on uh, Thursday before we find support and start bouncing to the upside. As you see, at this level, we have also the 200 moving average on the daily that uh, not been touched since uh, things here then when we broke below it the last time back in uh, May 2017. So this was the first touch of the 200 moving average on the daily and that also happened to be um, at this support area so we uh, we found uh, uh, some um, bullish uh, defense uh, at this level uh, <clears throat> if we go down to the four hour we see that we had a nice uh, strong drops on the dollar um, and um, it was like a drop consolidation another drop and I was uh, looking for a possible correction before a another leg to the downside. We didn't get that uh, even on uh, the NFP release last uh, Friday. We've got um, spike up, spike down, almost the usual stuff. Um, if we look at it on the one hour, uh, this was the NFP release uh, candle. As you see, a spike to the upside, a spike to the downside to then go up again and go down again and it was bouncing around. I don't see a real a bullish momentum. We should have much better momentum if those numbers was really good as uh, we saw. And I think you, uh, those of you who are trading, the, uh, the dollar should be looking at these numbers. But as you see, the, the headline number was a, a huge number uh, here. Um, and uh, the work, the market was not as expecting as much at all. But what happened uh, was uh, we had also the unemployment rate went up a little bit. This is still very, very good unemployment rate anyway. But what I really was looking at was uh, the average hourly earning that was uh, really uh, below expectation. So this was really not good. And mixed number always give you uh, this kind of movement yeah so I don't think this will change um, anything from uh, the language that the um, uh, Fed have at the moment which is a dovish language uh, we've got from uh, from uh, three or four rate hikes in 2019 to then uh, no rate hikes at all to then start talking about um, uh, the um, QE and possibly not um, letting letting it be on autopilot anymore and all that. So the the, the Fed went from uh, hawkish to dovish in one quarter in a very fast pace uh, for a, for a reason, yeah. And uh, that's why we see the market uh, selling uh, the dollar at the moment. So what I'm looking really looking at right now here is uh, because I am actually looking for a possible uh, longer term to, to maybe break below this level and uh, keep pushing back down toward the yearly pivot point of 2019 and test this level now when we start this round the top. Uh, that is for the longer term. As for short term trades, I think 
the 50% retracement of this whole leg here is a possible area to look at where we may see some uh, trouble or a change of a longer uh, deeper uh, correction on, on the dollar so this need to be broken to start thinking that we may test the highs but before that we have a lots of trouble on the way where the market is testing right now that is the first level or up here around the 38.2 fibonacci um, up here also we have the 618 retracement of this whole move and uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour at that level so this area may give some trouble here so what i'm looking for uh, on the dixie right now is uh, at least uh, sideways or continuation if we break below the 95 20 95 15 area here if this got broken then we may keep moving to the downside as first look at this possible range right now we are um, trading inside this lower range at the moment and uh, we should uh, keep an eye on that any break below this uh, that should mean a continuation of this ongoing uh, move to the downside okay so uh, that is um, what I see, uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour gonna be my filter if broken with a four hour candle and uh, closed above it and the market showing some continuations, then I may change my bias. But as for now, I will start, um, I will keep looking to sell rallies on the dollar. Uh, for gold, we see that we had, uh, if we go to the weekly time frame, you see that we had another uh, strong week to the upside. We broke above uh, this level that we were expecting some kind of uh, resistance that got broken on the weekly. And um, yeah, I don't see um, much troubles on the way. We have the... Uh, uh, 1325 or 26 we're gonna look at it on the daily but otherwise if we look on the weekly after breaking this high there is not much on the way to stop it from moving to a 1360 area uh, but if we go down to the daily you see that uh, the market did stop at this level I mentioned last week which was this high up here we tested that high the 1326 to then uh, give us a uh, shooting star formation uh, with uh, Friday bearish candle. So uh, what I'm looking for here is a possible uh, correction to the downside now. Maybe first of around the 1308 or even better if we test this broken structure for another leg to the upside. But gold still bullish. Uh, the question is where to find a nice uh, buying entry. So uh, if we look at the uh, four hour time frame, you see that we have uh, this uh, uh, even on the one hour, you could see it even more actually possible shoulder head shoulder formation waiting on this neckline to uh, breaks. Um, and if that happened, if the break happened here, then there is a possibility for at least a dip toward the monthly pivot point below that. That would mean a retest of this uh, uh, this range down here yeah so um, this range down here could be a, a major market objective if we break below this previous low down here before the next bounce to the upside even if you get this deeper bounce down here is this still considered a bullish market for now uh, oil also still bullish uh, if we look at the weekly time frame on this one as well I've been talking about this area to give us some troubles we got some trouble at this level but on the weekly you see we had a nice strong uh, weekly um, uh, candle here uh, we broke above the 200 moving average retested and pushed back above it on the weekly time frame we we broke also below above uh, previous week's high and the week before so uh, it looks like we may open the door for more upside here toward uh, maybe monthly r1 or even higher i think the market objective if we keep moving higher is to reach this area around the monthly r2 uh, where we maybe have some um, nice Fibonacci retracement yeah this area around the 618 gonna be very very interesting close to uh, the neckline of this double top as well so um, still uh, bullish we just broke above this range not the strongest breakout though 
because uh, we do not have a break and close uh, much higher than the day before it was like at the high of uh, the previous day so i'm looking for another push to the upside on one hour or four hour and if that happened then there is a possibility for that continuation first to this one and then to this level up here that is the scenario on on the oil yeah but if we fail to break give us a strong break since this is still resistance then there is a possibility that we start ranging down here yeah uh, i think uh, <coughs> i don't think we're gonna see oil moving uh, much lower yet <clears throat> at the moment so we'll keep an eye on monthly pivot point as possible support or a strong break above here would mean a continuation to the upside um usd uh, we look on the daily we see that I had a possible market objective that we uh, may test this level up here we didn't really reach that level as you see so we reach around the 1.15 uh, 15 area we did not really uh, reach this level or uh, try to um, take out these highs previous highs I still think that should be the market objective after such a bounce from here and uh, if we go to the weekly time frame we see that we're still actually going a little bit of a range here it is still a ranging market but uh, we still have um, slightly higher lows and uh, still going inside this range uh, nothing will happen nothing major will happen before we leave this range somehow either that we uh, keep pushing and break to the upside or if it breaks to the downside but the 200 moving average on the weekly is still holding this market and the 200 moving average on the daily is coming now from the upside yeah so we are just above the mid range here uh, friday we pushed lower after the nfp so uh, we do have a possible swing uh, lower high here and uh, what i'm looking for next week um, if uh, this market will break below this structure then that should mean that we are going back to the down uh, downside to this uh, bottom of this range otherwise the first thing we we should be looking for is uh, some kind of um, push toward this low here if this hold as a po possible double bottom then we may uh, reach that possible market objective to uh, test these highs but <clears throat> when a market uh, is uh, like mid-range like this things may get very choppy and as you see um, this area here been a good uh, area of uh, support and resistance on lower time frame <clears throat> so it may get choppy here keep an eye on that uh, do not um, force a trade inside this area i mean uh, the better way is to wait for this uh, uh, area here to get tested you maybe get some kind of uh, bounce from the top of this range to the downside or if we as i said if we break below this that would be uh, more certain that we're gonna move once again to the bottom of the range before we get the bounce to the upside but as i told you since uh, the dixie seems to be um, uh, <clears throat> more bearish the usd should be more bullish yeah and we do have the goal to keep an eye at so that will also give us a hint if gold does not do a deep correction then this may keep pushing higher here and uh, really test these highs at this level there will be short-term opportunities intraday trading uh, maybe uh, like on the one hour if we um, break above the nfp high then uh, there is a possibility also that we get some kind of retest and continuation but as you see we had a high a drop strong drop to the downside to then push back up from the monthly pivot point acted as support so um, it is a support and resistance area and we may see uh, lots of choppiness so uh, be aware of that uh, try to be uh, uh, smart trading this market we may keep shopping around for a while as well uh, sterling usd the weekly ended up as an inside day since the week before was a very very uh, big candle 
Um, still, we could uh, expect this market maybe to have the market objective to test these highs up here on the weekly time frame. If we go down to the daily, you see that we broke above the 200 moving average. We went back to test it a couple of times, still holding as a possible dynamic support. Uh, this could be some kind of um, correction before the next bounce to the upside here. So uh, keep an eye on uh, this level down here where we have the 200 moving average or this uh, structure level down here is a possible support as well. Um, but on the four hour time frame, uh, we have a total different story here. We start having a lower low uh, here, a lower high, another lower low and another lower low here. So. Uh, there is some uh, short term chart building some pressure to the downside. So that what make me um, be a little bit cautious here, because if we break below previous low this time, then that would mean maybe a deeper correction toward the monthly pivot point uh, before uh, possible continuation on this market. So we need to have that in mind. But if we get nice bullish uh, evidence at this level some kind of bullish engulfing or something like that on the four hour then uh, we may be just looking at some kind of correction before a continuation to the upside based on uh, this uh, daily chart okay and that we broke above previous highs we broke above this high as well so um, could be possible market objective to, to reach this level after uh, this correction to the downside. Now, next week, as I showed you, we have uh, a very important uh, uh, news event for the sterling, and that would be on Thursday. So uh, keep you need to keep an eye on that. Uh, there is also Brexit, but I think uh, Brexit next week, the headline is going to be a little bit cool until the week after when things start happening once again. USD Jappy also um, still be um, pushing uh, after this correction on Friday. We've got a very nice bounce to the upside. So on the weekly time frame, you see that the weekly ended up as a hammer after a push all the way down to 108.50 area. And still this level is our uh, support level here around the 108. We didn't reach 108, it was 50 pips above it before we start pushing back to the upside. And uh, with this uh, candle on Friday, we do now have um, uh, this our initial low, this is our initial high, another higher low, another higher high, and this now is another higher low. So. Uh, based on that, we may be going once again for another test of the 110 area, which we know is a pretty important uh, resistance level looking left. So this as first could give us some trouble to the downside, but if broken, that will open the door for much more upside on uh, USD uh, JAPI. Yeah? If we go down to the four hour and look at that structure, you see that the 200 moving average is coming now from above and maybe gonna act as a possible dynamic uh, resistance as well. So as for now, we're still looking at the same range as the uh, uh, start of the week and that is 108 and uh, the top of it is 1010. That is uh, the support and resistance that we should be looking at. But any break above 1010, that could mean a continuation to the upside on this market but look at what on 110 sorry uh, first as a possible resistance yeah this could give you a bounce to the downside this still a ranging market um, usd cat continue the move to the downside and if we look at the weekly now we see that we are testing uh, this um, the bottom of this channel uh, we have just below that the 200 uh, moving average on the weekly. So uh, more and more we have another copy of what's happened here in the past, as you see. So this channel here, the bottom of this channel is a very, very important area that we should keep an eye at. Yeah, And this is uh, never a 
perfect thing that you're gonna see the market stop to the pip or stuff like that um, last Friday we traded below the 200 moving average on the daily we've done that before so it, it is not an exact touch and uh, bounce we as you see we broke below it here to then break above it here was the same um, but now since we broke also below this structure here I think there is more to the downside here uh, that we maybe once again go back to test that 1.300 down here yeah even though that we're reaching the bottom of this channel i still do not see uh, that the bulls uh, giving uh, any uh, fight uh, as you see if we look at the bearish candles they are much much bigger for uh, than the uh, bullish candles every time so this looked to me uh, still as a possible health healthy trend and that the market objective should be down here around the uh, 1.300. Um, so uh, I'm looking to sell rallies on USD CAD. On the four hour, you see it clearly uh, that the beers um, are really still in control um, at this market. This last four hour candle could be a profit taking for uh, the week or for the day happened at this level. So do not uh, put uh, much of uh, thinking around this bullish candle and um, yeah we should uh, keep uh, selling rallies on this one toward the uh, level down here before we start getting trouble once again uh, Aussie USD let's go to the weekly and daily as well on this one so as you see on the weekly time frame we have a close above previous high so this is a strong signal for a possible continuation on this market possible uh, um, that for this market to reach uh, the, the objective around the high up here yearly pivot point or uh, the level just below that around this area down here so um, this close above uh, the high here on the weekly showing uh, strengths for uh, the bulls uh, this market on thursday reached the 200 moving average stopped at that level and friday was um, a bearish day so um, yeah let's see if we're gonna get some kind of correction but still on the daily higher highs and higher lows uh, keep going and um, on the four hour time frame we got another lower high here so uh, what I'm looking for is uh, if we're gonna get another retest toward this level maybe if we break the neckline then to maybe retest this broken flag or trend line before a continuation uh, bounce to the upside um, USD chief still uh, chopping around inside this range nothing new here as you see we still have the level down here is your support uh, the, the area up here is your resistance nothing has changed we are uh, mid range now once again so uh, do not trade mid range keep an eye on this support buy this sell this until you have a breakout there's nothing else to do here until we have a break either to the upside for the continuation to happen and that would be um, another push all the way up to test these highs up here or if we break then we're gonna test the neckline of this inverted head and shoulder um, on uh, usd chief for next week uh, new zealand usd on the weekly you see that we almost reached the 200 moving average on the weekly but still it was a strong close above previous highs yeah so this is a very strong um, close above the highs and um, yeah we may be gonna get some kind of correction once again after breaking above this structure we didn't really have a uh, correction and we broke also above the 200 moving average on the daily um, last Friday um, almost a bearish engulfing candle on that one so there is a possibility for a deeper correction we just broke the neckline of this uh, double top on the four hour as well 
this is uh, the double top I am talking about. The neckline is now broken, so uh, that will open the door for more downside. Um, down here is the level that I'm looking for a possible bounce from if we break even below uh, this level, yeah? Because I think this market uh, could push a little bit lower than the yearly pivot point before the continuation. So first off, look at uh, the yearly pivot point area that could give you a bounce from this but down here is the last line of defense before a uh, possible continuation on this uh, market guys uh, new zealand cat still uh, going sideways uh, if we go to the daily or maybe to the weekly as well we see that last week it was a very strong try to break above previous highs here it couldn't uh, give us a weekly close above that so we still uh, have uh, pressure to the downside on the daily you see that this uh, structure i mentioned as a possible resistance still acting as resistant despite this try to break above it and um, yeah friday was a close a strong close way below um, Thursday's low so um, the question is if we are gonna keep pushing uh, below uh, the yearly pivot point a break below the yearly pivot point could mean another um, push to the downside to reach this double bottom here so uh, if you look at the four hour you see it much more clearly here we had a very strong uh, bearish divergence going on and um, yeah once again we are testing the lows here on this particular time frame i think we should be keep trading this range where the market is uh, right now so it is still buy low sell high until we get a breakout out of this uh, range yeah yes so um, yeah that was it guys thank you very much and uh, see you next week bye bye